Torzu, Amiran, Inokas, Rise, Rise, Quas, Mir, Yalopan. <laughs> What is up guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here and welcome to tutorial 11 how to create a zombie first person shooter game using the Unity game engine. Now firstly if you're completely new to Unity and you've stumbled upon my videos I'd recommend you go to tutorial 10 all right and we'll kick off everything from there alright there's gonna be a tutorial 10, tutorial 10 part 1 there's gonna be a part 2 as well which is gonna do a total recap on everything we've done we've done so far and then there's tutorial 11 which we'll be looking at today alright I'm just giving you guys a heads up so you can be organized in creating the game now as usual I'll get right down to it I'll leave a link in the description below of this video so you can download the package and import it into your project as usual good stuff uh, after you import it into your game or drag it into your game you'll need to um you'll need to open it up and as you can see I have an audio clip here uh, that sound, then I have materials, uh, prefabs, which is just one prefab, scripts, I have three scripts here, destroyed after, uh, zombie head health, and zombie health, alright, if you notice, um, there is like two different types of uh, scripts here, one is C sharp and one is uh, JavaScript, alright, so, it's, it's, two different types of scripts but it won't actually butter or what should I say mess up the game in any way alright good stuff because in some cases persons are just accustomed to using uh, just one scripting language rather than just using both simultaneously but in this case here it won't really matter alright and I've developed a video game called Awaken for the Revolution um, I'm almost finished uh, with the final touches and I'll have the link available for you guys to view that game and enjoy but I'm decided, I've decided I've decided to make the tutorial series a bit based on um, my game now if you notice when the video started there was a gameplay of the final level of the game alright uh, just ignore the actual uh, sounds and all of that and just focused on well not all of the sounds just most of the sounds except for the zombie after, after the zombie dies alright if you notice whenever the player shoots the zombie the zombie falls back plays like a death animation and then it like disappears like some black dust just comes up and then the zombie disappears that's the effect in which I'll be showing you guys to do today in this video alright you won't see it in effect up until we have we have the player built and then you would see the player uh, attack the enemy and then you would see that effect in motion alright so after we finish building the player then you'll be able to see the effects alright but uh, anyways let's get right down to it uh, the first thing you'll need to do is go back to uh, tutorial 10 and the AI script alright what I'm gonna need you guys to do I'm gonna need you guys to rename this script to uppercase A and lowercase I alright and yes that's all I need you guys to do to that script there alright now you'll just highlight the zombie alright and then you'll go down to the scripts folder and you will select the zombie health 
and you'll just drag it right here all right good stuff as you can see the zombie uh, health is there now I'll explain these quickly the hit points this is the um, enemy's health all right uh, prefab the prefab deals with the dead replacement so that's where the black dust is going to come in uh, animation a n i m the shortened uh, spelling for it now this is the same as when I explain in the AI script you need to ensure that the dead animation is spelled correctly as the one you have on here in this case that animation is spelled with a lowercase d so we'll need to ensure that we have that spelled out correctly here alright the zombie new now this basically is this the actual zombie game object or moreover it's actually the object or yeah the object that actually has the AI script on it so if the AI script was actually here you would have dragged this but the AI script is here so that's the reason why you're gonna need to drag it here alright you can actually rename this like take out the the first uh, uh, spelling here and just leave zombie new if you want to or you can just leave like that um, X exp gain now this is the points this is like a point system but we don't we haven't reached that level yet so don't worry about that all right good stuff now I'll just show you guys quickly what you need to do you just go to the prefabs folder I already have the prefab here um it's actually a dead replacement that I got from I think it's one of one man's army uh, FPS kits one that includes uh, the spider all right now he had like some particle effects on there all right and he actually had like the animation for the spider now I just simply removed all the necessary things that need removing and just leave the animation sorry the particle effect sorry on there and added an audio source that's all I did in order to get that black dust effect for the game so you'll just drag the zombie replace right to the prefabs uh, slot and that's good to go then for the animation as I taught you guys in the previous tutorial you'll just go to wherever the animation is stored you'll just select this like hold it down and just drag it right here good stuff then we'll rename this here lowercase d and that's good to go as well now the final thing the zombie new we'll just drag the game object that actually has the AI script right here and yeah we're good to go now we're already done with the enemy's help now we'll go on to the head which is going to be the spear this is going to deal with the headshot alright now you guys can scale the um, spear in a little more if you want to all right to make it as small as the actual zombie head but I'll just leave it like this just for tutorial uh, purposes all right good stuff now we'll just go right here and we'll take the zombie head script and we'll just drag it right there all right good stuff same thing again you go to the area in which the animation is stored on the game object or the zombie and you just drag it right here all right good stuff rename this to death with a lowercase d good stuff that we're renaming it to like that because that's what the animation death is spelled like all right good stuff um spare and the final thing is going to be the zombie new where the ai script is actually on and we're good to go everything is finished i'll just remove this because i already have it here already i just did it again just to show you guys from scratch Good stuff. Now I'm gonna explain this a bit quickly for you guys. All right. Now the enemy has 100 health, and once the health is equal to zero, it's gonna play the death animation. Now this is where this one this comes in here. All right, death animation. All right. Now how the script is set. All right. Now the script is actually set for the uh, enemy the AI set for the enemy to pursue the player once within range alright and once we kill the player the enemy sorry 
um, most obviously the enemy would be within range so therefore this script will still be active so in game like or in a game sense it would be that the death animation would be playing and the enemy would still be pursuing the player so it'll be like a kind of unorthodox kind of uh, movement going on there so that's not what we want all right that's where this zombie uh, new comes in what this is going to do it's going to uh, disable the AI script all right that's the reason I tell you guys I told you guys to rename the script to AI with an I in lowercase all right now it's going to disable that script in order for the animation to play and then right after the animation is done it's going to bring on this effect this uh, prefab which gives you something looking like this it's just gonna play one time and then it's going to disappear alright good stuff same thing with the head as well 100 health if you shoot the play in the head it'll just die instantaneously the particle effect is gonna play uh, immediately rather than just having like a death animation when you get shot to the head alright good stuff yeah did I miss anything no I don't think I missed anything this here deals with the point the point system but I won't explain that right now alright now if you guys notice in the video in which I showed you guys first the example of what I'll be showing you guys today uh, you may have noticed whenever I kill a zombie the EXP goes up alright and then it actually like increases the score over time but I didn't kill enough zombies in order for the score to be affected so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in later tutorials alright it's gonna pretty much be uh, a game similar to my game Awaken 4 alright so you guys can look forward for the other tutorials in time to come all right yeah so it's a very very simple video for those persons who aren't new to unity and you're looking to just use the effect by all means you can do so um, that would mean that you know what exactly you need to do when it comes down to scripting and all that which you need to change and all of that so yeah you guys could do whatever it is that you guys want and need to do all right but for those persons who are new I will update the tutorial series so you guys will be able to see uh, what exactly it is that I'm actually uh, teaching you guys here all right because I know persons when after tutorial they don't want to see the actual um, teaching in effect in effect but it won't be the, uh, that it won't be that today because we haven't built the player as yet so there's no way in in order for them for me to show that I could have just wrote written a script and you know just have the enemy collide into a collider and just die but forgive me for being lazy all right I have a lot to, a lot of things to do I just squeezed in this tutorial here so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video do give me a thumbs up and do remember to subscribe to keep yourself up to date with the channel and in for the uh, further down in the series um, I'm actually thinking of right after I finish my game awaken for the revolution like complete everything all the glitches and everything uh, for those persons I'm gonna actually have like a game like so you guys are gonna need to stay tuned to the series alright I'm gonna actually um, devise a sort of a game tactics and the top I don't know right now I haven't really put much thought into it but let's say the top five persons uh, I'm gonna actually give you guys a free link for the game like a week or a month in advance before I actually release the game alright and then if the tutorial series is like that long to the extent where I actually finish the demo for my game which I'm working on right now which is called Dead Speed Move Faster Than Sound if you guys want like insights and um, like on an understanding of what exactly I'm talking about when it comes down to Awaken for the Revolution and Dead Speed Move Faster Than Sound which are my games in which I'm creating you can always go down to my Facebook page and check that out I also have my Wix website you guys can check out my Wix, my Wix website as well 
and you guys can get uh, a lot more information like uh, picture like photo updates and uh, other other things pertaining to the game all right so on my website I actually have like the picture and then I have like an explanation as to what exactly it's about all right and same thing on Facebook but my website is more reliable anyways yeah uh, so I'll actually give out the link to the top five persons so that they can play the game first and you know brag about it I guess yeah and probably they can actually you know go down the direction of trying to devise up or recreate a sort of um, game like mine I don't know it'll be entirely up to them to use the game however it's not for commercial uh, uses alright it's free so eventually you guys are gonna actually get the link but just for the uh, game tactics I'm gonna actually have the link out to the top five persons in order for them to get the preference of playing the game before others alright so yeah uh, might be the same for dead speed as well I'm not sure but I know for sure another dimension it's not gonna be for free <laughs> in terms of uh, the game tactics alright it, it's gonna be for free but um, not really in terms of the game tactics alright because that game is very very old and I have a lot of work to do there so yeah uh, thank you guys so much for watching and once again if you like the video do give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe to keep yourself up to date with my channel and my apologies for uh, talking a lot uh, I just wanted to uh, fill you guys in alright uh, do stay tuned for the next tutorial which is gonna be tutorial 12 on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in unity all right so until next time continue making games guys and i'll see you in the next tutorial peace